Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. I was working on a video. I tried to get it out a thousand times. I, I looked at it. I tried to get the words out. I had the idea and I thought about it and I kept thinking about it and kept stressing me out. And I was like, man, it's not worth doing because I know what's going to happen if I do this video. So we're not going to do this video. Um, you can check it out on Twitter. Okay. It's just something that's going on. Uh, if you're following me on Twitter, you can check it there. Uh, you'll see it all over Twitter. Um, and I promise you it's not it's not as bad as you think, but it is pretty, uh, pretty crazy. But I do want to talk about joining up with Twitter or X now and joining Discord. Like, I, I used to be on these platforms. Like, when Twitter first came out, I used to post, like, every single day. And, you know, I went years without really posting anything. And I opened up a Discord maybe a few years ago, but I never use it because I just never... Never got into it. And today, uh, actually the last couple of days, uh, I joined a couple of groups. Uh, one was like a YouTube creator and the other one was like um, another YouTube creator thing where basically you can promote your videos, your channel and all that stuff. And on Twitter, I joined the zeitgeist of uh, degeneracy that happens on Twitter um, because I'm a troll. And I come to find out like when you're trying to advertise or promote your channel, um, there's a lot of weird things that happens, especially if you join Twitter or Discord and you get in these groups. I notice immediately, I started getting messages from random strangers that I don't even know. Um, and most of these guys, they'll be like, they start out say, hello, how are you? And I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty good. Uh, after, after the third or fourth one, you start to realize it's a, it's a scam. Uh, but these people will ask you about your channel, how you've been promoting. And I usually have somebody they want you to talk to to uh, pay them to advertise your channel. Now, it's no, it's no um, surprise that I would love my channel to grow. Uh, I would love to have a big channel. There's nothing I wouldn't love more than to be like a full-time content creator. But that's probably not going to happen. Uh, if it was going to happen, it would have happened years ago. Uh, so how I look at it now, it's a hobby. It's something I like to do. I try not to be too stressed about it, except for when I was trying to record that other video, which we're not recording because that would be bad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But I have noticed a lot of people, like, they'll, you'll get on the Discord server, you'll start getting random messages, especially if you're in, like, content creator servers. They want to sell you something, and they want to tell you the same thing. Like, you go to SEO, and I know SEO is a big thing. Uh, it's a search engine optimization um, where, you know, you can work and do your thing, like promote, see what people like. And that's why I did a survey earlier when I did a poll on the community page to kind of see what you guys like. Now, I had two guys, two people, uh, maybe a third, I haven't answered yet, that uh, basically said, hey, how's your channel? What's your link? I said on my link, they took a look at the channel. They're like, you don't have a lot of uh, subscribers or views on your channel. It's like, well, no, I mean, I get some just depending on what the stuff I do. It's like, um, you know, I would like for it to get more views, but, you know, nothing I can really do about that except for make better content, which they ask you, it's like, how are you promoting? How are you making your channel better? And I always start to be like, well, I'm trying to do a little bit better when it comes to editing. I'm trying to do a little bit better when it comes to thumbnails that come down to descriptions, uh, you know, titles and all that stuff and promoting on uh, external sites like X and Facebook and Reddit, stuff like that. It's really, really hard in this market to get your vo voice out there and to be seen. A lot of people will tell you there are some lucky people, but there's also people that basically they'll take advantage of a small creator and they'll look at you like, hey, I can probably get money from this guy and promise him that he's going to get money. Just like we said earlier in one of the community posts, it's like a televangelist. The ones that ask you for $1,000 to see if you can get closer to God, which is probably a scam, so don't do that. Nothing wrong with donating to your church, but don't do that, okay? Don't do that. Don't pay for their jumbo, jumbo jets. Don't do that. Um, it's a scam. It seems like there's a scam in everything. People like to take advantage of vulnerable people. Um, and there's also shortcuts, and the shortcuts we've seen in other channels, bigger channels like Chili's channel, where he's got 500 some thousand subscribers, but only getting maybe 5,000 views per video, and hardly any like viewers on these, maybe like two or 300 people on these uh, 
uh, live stream, most of them haters, you know that those numbers do not compute. It's basically a shortcut. It's basically a shortcut to get more subscribers and you're not going to get the reaction or anything like that from the channel because there's mainly just bots. And a lot of people will sell you that. They'll be like, hey, it's organic. It's, a, it's a organic. I guarantee your channel's going to grow. And yes, it would grow. There's a possibility it could grow. But once it gets to a certain point, you're going to notice that, hey, my numbers are rising in the subs and the followers, but I'm not getting any type of interactions. I'm not getting any of that. And a lot of these people on these Discord servers, they try to sell you something that you want. And especially if you're somebody that wants to make a living off YouTube or Twitch, it sounds like a really good fucking idea. Really, it really does. It sounds great. It's like a shortcut. You mean I can become a full-time streamer or content creator if I just give you $150 a month? Oh, fucking A, man. That's awesome. I'm going to give you that money right now. What's your Venmo? What's your Cash App? What's your PayPal? Okay, let's do this. They charge you like $500 or $1,000 and I'm like, oh, get this, get this. And you can pay like four batches of followers and they say, hey, these are real followers. They're not fake. They're bots majority of the time. Now, I joined a thing called TubeBuddy, which is a CEO, well, SEO, not CEO. It's an SEO uh, program that just kind of shows you like analytics and stuff like that. And you can pay a subscription to, I, I don't know what, what the only thing it does for me is whenever I make a video, it takes a look at the analytics and says what you can do and what can't you can't do and all this stuff. It doesn't give you extra followers or anything. Only the thing it does is kind of help you with that, which I don't really utilize it. I haven't used it in a long time. Um, but you know, my big thing is like I know whenever I make a video, for instance, this video probably not going to get a lot of views, but when I make a video about a frauditor or some kind of drama that gets videos, though it does get usually more views. When I make a video about gaming, not really. When I make a uh, video about some mental health stuff, it kind of varies, it's like a roller coaster. So, you know, growing your channel, especially my channel, has been around for over a decade. Um, it's had its time, it's a roller coaster. Um, you would figure like, you know, as many videos I have, and they're probably low tier, low quality videos from back in the day. Cause trust me, I never really put a lot of effort into it. I just put the camera on and I started recording, um, which, you know, if I wanted to be successful at it, maybe at the beginning, I should have putting, be putting more effort into it, but I've been treating it as a hobby instead of a actual job. I don't really want it to be a job unless it is my job. If YouTube was something that could sustain me, to make as much money to pay the bills, uh, pay everything and be comfortable, have food in the refrigerator, have extra money to do what you want, buy new equipment, that would be fine. But in this case, that's very rare for a lot of people. Um, I follow a lot of like Reddit groups, like YouTube partner groups, and you see a lot of success stories. Um, a lot of them do talk about how they spent money on advertising, which in my thing, I can't really afford to spend money to advertise using Google AdSense or anything like that, because it, you have to have a budget to do that. And you might get minimal, minimal growth maybe, uh, but I say the more you spend, the better you off you are. But you know, in some some instances, in the most part, if your content is great, if you're providing something that people like and enjoy, you're going to get the followers, you're going to get the reactions, but there's no real shortcuts. There's no real shortcuts. Um, and like I said, I hate to keep on going back to Chile, but if you look at his channel, nothing computes. It just shows you, you could buy the subscribers, you could buy the followers, but you can't buy the engagement. You just can't. You have bots that might hop in there and say, hi, hello, this is great, this is amazing, you you really are a cool guy, blah, blah, blah. And it kind of looks like engagement, but it's not. Because you look at these accounts, and they're like sock accounts, they're bot accounts. Maybe have they just opened up a new channel just five minutes ago. It's weird. It's, weird. it's all automated. It's all automated. But I thought, you know, I joined, I got back on Discord so I can uh, check out Shiz Happens. I've been following her and following some other communities that I'm on. And that's whenever I thought, hey, let me, maybe I can promote on these channels. And that's when I started getting the messages about people wanting to me pay for a service for shortcuts. 
I don't want to do that. I really don't. I really don't. My my whole goal at this point is to make better content, maybe not as much as possible, maybe two to three videos a week, but better content to get more engagement. Yes, it'd be great if I could do some promotion, but a lot of people, if you promote on some channels like social media, like X or Reddit or Facebook, people will basically give you a cold shoulder and they'll tell you, hey, you're you're basically grifting at this point. Uh, you're 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 spamming us. And that's usually not what you mean to do. But whenever you see these other people that see millions of people doing the same damn thing because they all have the same damn dream. They want to be a content creator, which in today's market, it's not as feasible. And even if you get there, it may not be enough money to where you're making a living. Some people have to keep a day job, uh, believe it or not. Um, but I mean, like I said, it's possible. It's very possible. You could do it. Maybe one day this channel will explode to a billion subscribers and, you know, things will happen. But I'm not going to count on it. But I just want to let you know, if you're a new streamer, if you're a new content creator, and you join these groups, like all these social media groups that promise some type of growth in your channel, it's probably bullshit. 100% of the time, it's probably bullshit. Usually the best thing you could do is collaborate and see what your audience wants. Don't be like me and do random shit. Uh, I know what videos do that's better than others. And... Yeah, <laughs> so that's why I do the other videos because I know people will watch them and it does give me growth. So be quiet, be careful, be careful. Just watch it, just watch it. Trust me, um, and do whatever you can to make your channel yours. Don't make it a chore. Uh, maybe that will come later when it is your full time income. Until then, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.